Yes, that's right. I'm going bananas with bananas again. So in this video, there's no real recipe to follow. Uh, I'll just show you what I did with this one, which was uh, use a couple of Kilner jars. I think they're about 550 mil in size. And uh, I chopped up a couple of bananas, uh, put them in each one. I think I managed to cram in about two and a half bananas in each jar. And then I simply uh, topped it up with 40% ABV neutral spirit, almost to the top. And then in one of them, I didn't measure this out, but I just put in some granulated white sugar. Add a bit of a guess, I'll say around 50 grams. So after two days of infusing, uh, this is what it looked like. Uh, it's obviously starting to um, go a bit brown or even black because it's such a soft fruit. So what I did, I just uh, pulled out the real black ones off the top and then set it aside for a few more days. And this is what it looked like after five days of infusing. The sugar had completely dissolved and the fruit had pretty much run its course, I think. So I uh, just strained it off and then bottled it. So here's the two products that I've ended up with. The uh, no added sugar and the added sugar. As you might be able to see, they've come out pretty clear and looking very nice. Um, nowhere near as cloudy as the hot infusion that I do. This was obviously just cold as you saw in the clip. Just um, the alcohol, banana and the uh, sugar and just shook it up a few times. And that's quite surprising how clear they've come out considering I left them in there for a long time. A lot longer than what I normally would do. <sighs> but let's give them a quick taste and we shall have a look. We'll have a look what we think for. Oh. Right, I'm not too poncy about things, but that has got a serious banana, really ripe banana kick to that. More so than this, but there. Yeah. yeah, sweet banana, as you would expect. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I can't get over the smell of this one. <laughs> for just a few bananas and 40% um, distilled alcohol that's very classy that's what we call it that's a drink you could uh, merrily drink away until you were quite hammered and that one you would have just as a nice shot at the end of an evening I think that that's mm, another good one two good ones again um, even better so if you like bananas and alcohol I think between the two, I would choose this one just for the fact that I do have a little bit of a sweet tooth. So that comes out very nicely with the banana. But this one, my word, that's incredible. Just for chucking it in the jar, no more than that. No um, fake essence added to it, it's just ripe fruit. And that's the outcome. So that's that's two good ones for me. I'll stick this uh, <laughs> along with the rest of the other banana stash I've got going. And um, I might be doing this one even more so than the other ones. Save messing about boiling up the sugar and water and trying to let it cool and messing about. Just lob it straight on into a, um, a kilner jar. A few days later, it's perfect. So, with that in mind, if you like this hobby, Make sure you keep on shining.